Hello everyone. First of all, happy new year. Meet my new car. This is Jeep Compass Night Eagle diesel manual transmission. Night Eagle is a special variant based on Longitude. But unlike Longitude, this doesn't have any chrome elements. All chrome elements are dechromed and blackened out. You can see unlike Longitude, you get 18 inch all black alloy wheel. Even the compass badging is all black. You can see the car comes with four disc brakes and have painted all the calipers to red to give it nice contrast look. The front you do get full LED headlights but it is non projector type. The car gets passive keyless entry on both front doors. You can see black OVMs with integrated LED blinkers, large wheel arches with claddings. So unlike the front element, the rear tail lights are all normal halogen type. There is no signature LED lights as seen on limited version onwards. So this is all normal halogen bulb with some reflector setup, night eagle badging and it comes with twin fog lamps and all black rear diffuser as well. The silencer pipe is neatly hidden. So you can see the top there is no sunroof on this unit which I personally hate. So that's a good thing for me. Actually a sunroof is not ideal for our climate conditions because the glass will heat up really fast and it will cool off very slowly. You can see the unique fuel filling mechanism. There is no cap. Instead it comes with a spring loaded valve mechanism. So no need to worry about the fuel cap being not closed or lost. So there is no need for any remote fuel lid opener. All you have to do is just unlock the car then by pushing on the fuel cover the lid will open. So this is the key. So being the middle version there is no remote boot opener but you do get remote lock and unlock function. And also it comes with automatic ORVM folding. Passive entry on both sides of the front door. All you have to do is just keep your hand. Also note that uh, the folded wing mirrors will open up once you start the car. Just like that. But this Night Eagle variant doesn't get rain sensing wiper even though I found the sensors Person, but unfortunately the feature is disabled in this variant but you do get automatic headlamps you can see the close-up of the LED headlamps Jeep performance LED written inside the headlamp and it also comes with nice LED fog lamps which will act up as cornering lamps as well you can see piano black front diffusers all closed front grille with uh, seven slants typical of jeep with piano black surroundings some hidden motifs like this wave mountain or a uh, wave pattern with a uh, what is that i don't know it's a dragon i think and a hidden jacko under the front wiper Anyway, coming to the back, you can see the so rear taillight with all halogen light and some reflectors. The reflectors will light up like an LED, but actually they are not LEDs. So during delivery, Jeep gave me this gift box. I will show you the contents. It has this. Jeep branded air freshener then the extra key this is not the key which was here uh, that came with a silicone case 
then this G branded pen with nice magnetic closure mechanism very nice then this keychain even this is an official accessory then again this Jeep branded cap and finally this carrying pouch so pretty generous and neat now let us see the interior of the car as I told you the car comes with passive entry on both sides so no need to press any button just keep your hand behind the door grab being the night edition everything is black inside so the good thing is that it's very easy to maintain and it is nice to look at but it gives a smallish or a claustrophobic image for some but i personally like it very much different shades of black used different kind of elements are used the car comes with full touch one touch up and down on all front doors rear ones get one touch down function no one touch up soft touch elements used liberally with nice white stitches one liter bottle holder with some more storage space nice textured soft touch elements used on the dash one unique feature is that the car comes with high quality tinted glass all around so even in bright sunny day you feel comfortable that is the light control switches the car comes with automatic headlamp but unfortunately no automatic wiper a seat comes with uh, use of art leather plus some fabric elements very cozy and nice to sit all manual height adjustment for driver side height adjustable seat belts that's a very useful and thoughtful feature the higher limited variant gets powered seats but this one comes with manual adjusted seat so you are seeing official 3d mats which i got as a compliment footwell area you do get dead pedal but it is not that spacious ac vents come with unique open and close mechanism soft touch elements everywhere very nice that's a subwoofer sound system sounds really amazing several kind of materials used on the center console you can see the breast aluminum looking elements now you can see dedicated switches to turn off the automatic on off mechanism then the traction control system everything can be turned on and off using the dedicated switches these switches are blower control switches tuner control switches volume control switch everything has dedicated switches the car comes with a large 10 plus inch touchscreen system which is very clear and legible this box came with a, a dongle an adapter to connect to the obd port so you can access the remote jeep life features like driver statistics so the car comes with electronic park brake unique aluminium gear shifter a very special to this jeep armrest which you can open which will leave, give you a large space which is actually cold you can keep a large bottle inside and the armrest you can adjust you can actually adjust the length of the armrest so that's very nice a useful feature is that even the passenger side gets dedicated open close button you can see the rvm which is manual adjustment but it is of very high quality and it's it works really well you can see the vanity mirror on the passenger and driver side but unlike the top variants this doesn't get illumination even though some white light like elements are there they are not illuminated even on the driver side you are getting the van mirror but it is not illuminated 
just gives a false look of flames but it is not illuminated the sun visor has got this unique retractile function so you can use it uh, partly on the side as a side curtain as well so that's a uh, microphones interior lights are not leds but they look neat and clean so that's the area where the automatic rain sensing wipers sensors go but this car even though i think it has sensor but it is not activated So the steering gets both tilt and telescopic adjustments and it is also very good to hold on to. So these switches are for controlling the color multi information display settings. So that is dummy switches. The horn is actually very loud trumpet like. So that is the stock to control the wiper speed for both front and back. So once again the leather wrapping is not official it is an accessory. Now coming to the back again widely openable door with all black elements piano black inserts brushed aluminum finished door opener soft touch elements are used on the door pad as well that is hard plastic but this is the lower part is soft touch that is very thoughtful the door the rear door gets one touch down function but no one touch up function again that's useful once again you can appreciate the level of tint on the glass very useful in our hot sunny days the rear seat is actually quite spacious and supportive you can see the armrest with cup holders and a center region for keeping your mobile phones you can see the uniqueness of the 3d mat which has a game i think with the jeep going to its home that's a maze nice no space is wasted transmission tunnel 12 volt power socket rear ac vent control so it can be controlled in both ways again a usb port is there the seat front seat gets rear pockets plenty of knee room and under thigh support reading lamps on both sides and also you are getting grabs on both sides once again the interior look again bottle holders on all four doors so these seal guards are made of steel and it is an official jeep accessory the car has decent boot space motorized tailgate is available in variants from limited onwards you can see jeep motif everywhere you can see the rear parcel tray which is a standard fitment and they have provided around six hooks for carrying load and also you can see the boot mat which is an official accessory provision actually this variant doesn't have a 12 volt socket there maybe higher variants have one dedicated space here and there very clever and thoughtful of jeep now you can see the duffel bag provided by jeep as an accessory complement of course so that's the 16 inch wheel that's a spare steel wheel that is 16 inch only for service purpose and that's a firestone tire as well the sheet metal used is very heavy so it is very difficult to open the hood and it has no hydraulic support so manual opening is actually a bit tedious process well laid out engine bay 
so as you can see it has a huge touch screen which looks like a floating tablet with excellent resolution and brightness and the touch sensitivity is also very good it supports both wireless apple carplay and android auto and most of the vehicle settings are also controlled from this touch screen the sound quality is also very decent it comes with dedicated subwoofer now i will show you the instrument cluster this is something i like very much because this has got what analog taco and speedometer with a 3d look uh, underneath you can see a full color multi information display and the same is being controlled using these control switches you can see how it changes you can see different valuable information being displayed on that you can see the music info being shown there you can see a digital speedometer now the tire pressure monitoring system fuel real time fuel economy gauge so that's quite useful and also you can see how the there's date is there time is there outside temperature is there you can actually change all these using this now i will show you the illumination of the interior aspect during night all the switches are illuminated and this is regardless of the headlight on off status so it is always on and finally before summing up the overall experience it is a true suv with amazing handling and road dynamics it has excellent drivability very smooth and refined diesel engine with a very fun to use gearbox as well that's it thanks for watching